Okay, I have Blackout Latu and this is running on Android Marshmallow. So there is nothing new about it. You already know that Latu have Marshmallow within it. But what's new is this. Let's close it up and see what I am talking about. So it's running on MIUI 9. Sorry, MIUI 8. And it's on 6.11.17 beta version. So how good is that? Let's find out in this video. So first of all, I am going to take a look into me UI's ecosystem. So definitely it is uh, primarily not anything near to stock. It is highly customized overall and uh, from the Laico's EUI interface it is pretty similar and also sometimes somewhere differs. So let's talk about where it differs. So first of all, you have a different kind of notification tray which is close to stock and far from the EUI manager so this is notification tray and what it looks like you can edit it like a pro and uh, here are many other several options which you can get with this so it is something new and also the app drawer is something different from the EUI on the UI you have all the uh, actions here but in the me UI you only have the recent stocks and I prefer this yes I prefer this because it looks uh, near to stock and I like the experience of stock and I pretty much like uh, this thing because you have all the notification while you are watching any video you can't uh, always want to just go to the recent task manager and change all the settings so there uh, the notification tray comes a lot so that's a pretty good thing but not uh, this is the thing only new to the me UI so here I can say that uh, the fingerprint manager works on the me UI 8 and on this beta version pretty first and also the IR blaster which is located at here also works so that's pretty good thing that kernel sources Lieko releases is uh, working on this so let's jump into the settings and see what else is here waiting for me so let's uh, top up the brightness so I want to say something about the brightness that however it is looking pretty bright it's not so the brightness mm, driver is somewhere missing and also the uh, 3.5 it, it has no 3.5 mm jack so the type C headphone is not working pretty well it can deliver you good sound quality but cannot talk to you and you cannot talk to anyone while taking that so that's a major thing to me and major downfall to me because I use a lot of headphone in the uh, outer side so let's talk about connectivity so you have dual sim connectivity calling is working finely but one thing to remember that Volti not working on this beta 9 beta 9 drone beta 10 drone is also released I haven't yet tested it so I will inform it as soon as I tested that and uh, to the option there is a Wi-Fi Bluetooth personal hotspot display here see what L option comes with display so here is the brightness level as usual system font you can also select system font size and nothing else so what about the wallpaper so in the MIUI you can get a lot of customized wallpaper which looks pretty fantastic and you if you don't want them you can also download from the store and here is that thing let's talk about uh, themes so you have several themes over here like uh, <laughs> what I can say there are a lot and you can also download themes from the me UI store so that's pretty cool you know so next of all we can go to the um, other settings like logs in and password here you have the fingerprint manager you can easily set up five ping across five fingerprints so nothing new about this but you can uh, also uh, use that fingerprint in various way like for app locking or anything else you have the uh, lock skin shortcuts there are pretty stockish and uh, you can also unlock with bluetooth device wake up with volume buttons and learn lots more of customization in MIUI you can get a lot of customization built in so the notification toggle layout you can see there is an option for a notification and toggle layout I set it combined if you go and select it separate it will separate the notification toggle like this mean you can have notification tray and alongside you have the um, your all the Wi-Fi Bluetooth and all the settings so I set it to uh, 
combined therefore I can use it more naturally so that's pretty cool you can also um, control app notifications from here what is a marshmallow feature I guess so um, here is the option you can show the carrier name or uh, not so that's your thing so that's pretty cool and here is second spirit it's a new thing that um, if you have any application in this um, phone that uh, supports separate uh, save and second space you can create a duplicate file of that and you can use it like a second account so here is do not disturb and battery and performance so i what i noticed that um, battery saving mode on this phone is pretty good if you turn on the battery saver you can easily last me of two days of battery backup if i don't use this phone heavily which i obviously don't do so for me there is a single day of battery backup is enough so let's talk about the storage after flashing this rom i essentially got 25 gb of free storage which is pretty normal and standard and now other options system app install app dual apps so what i say permission manager app lock and about phone so here is all the new things this uh, rom comes with a lot of customizations but let's lastly talk about the bugs so I found a lot of not a lot of bugs, bugs uh, but something that uh, dug me in that is this phone doesn't support Geo by now. So you can get Geo internet but can't get Geo voice call because though BOL, this phone is Geo LTE LT hardware capable but software won't allow it to run it. So I hope this will be fixed in the beta 10 version or something else. I will let you know. And another big downfall for me is when I connect three, uh, this headphone. To this jack and uh, talking listening to the a song and when a call comes i just can't talk to that call i have to remove the headphone and then talk to that person so that is another downfall to me and uh, let's talk about uh, uh, last downfall is that this rom okay so i got like this which uh, you are saying all the google app installed this is not the case with this rom because this rom comes without any google app so I have to sideload apps and anything and make it more stable like what it is now. So I have to work a lot on this ROM to make it stable. I will make a separate video on that how to st uh, flash and make this phone as stable as it is right now and as uh, useful. So I will make to show a separate video shoot on that. Stay tuned for that. So this is my take on the Mi UI 8. So it is pretty good in terms of usability. Have a lot of options. If you you are get you want to see the what is that option you can easily see any me UI review on YouTube and uh, on behalf of this video I only make this video to show you how compatible compatible is me UI 8 with Lycola 2 and how far is going the development process of this ROM so that's what that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like and subscribe to my channel I will be coming out with how to do flash custom how to flash MIUI 8 video soon and till now peace